Sunday afternoon. It's about 2.30ish. 2.34 to be exact. I'm headed out of the house finally. I spent the morning doing unfun stuff <laughs> like bookkeeping and paying the state of California sales tax. Ouch is all I can say. Um, <laughs> but it's done for 2017 so that's all done. Um, I also got the vlog for last week edited. It's uploading now as we speak. It's the one time when I'm filming that I just film. I just film. <laughs> I film random clips, spontaneous clips. And I normally don't film that way. I normally film for the edit and do a lot of stopping and starting so I don't have to do a lot of re-watching the clips and cutting stuff out. When I vlog, I don't do that. Uh, it's too... It's too... It's too difficult to do the vlog and do that. It's a better vlog, I think, and marginally less boring um, to be spontaneous. Uh, although I don't honestly know how interesting my life is. <laughs> I think it's pretty boring. Um, so anyway, uh, that means that I have to spend a lot of time editing. I think that took like an hour in my chair. My back kind of hurts. Um, Rewatching all the clips and I got... I usually have a lot of time of clips when I film a regular video that I want to be about 20 minutes. Generally, the clips when I'm done are 20 to like 30 minutes. I don't have that much to cut out. Uh, when I do the vlog, I generally have something that's between 40 minutes and an hour and a half, and I have to try to get it down to 30 minutes or less. So that's a challenge, and today I had an hour and I think 14 minutes worth of clips, 84 clips I think, and I had to edit it down to whatever it is, I think it's like 20 some minutes, I, it's just under 30 minutes I think. I try to keep them a bit shorter than that, but that doesn't always work. And this week we had extra days in the vlog because I'm trying to change the days that I vlog. Um, I was doing like Wednesday, uh, Thursday to Wednesday, which is weird, <laughs> I even think it's weird. So. I'm going to do like Sunday to Saturday, more regular. I'm off now to the hardware store to get a part for something that I want my husband to fix really quick before he goes back to work tomorrow. And uh, he said he had time this afternoon to fix it, so we're going to park in the back so I can maybe get a few steps in while I'm here. I think that sounds like a good plan. All right, I'll be back. Okay, we got what we needed, and now I can go home. As long as I can figure out how to get out of the parking lot. <sighs> That's always a challenge. Morning. It is Monday, January 8th. I'm going to go to physical therapy. I decided to walk, even though it looks like this outside. It's kind of rainy, but that's okay. I'm not going to melt. I'm not the Wicked Witch. At least I don't think so. Anyway. So let's go have some fun. Let's go for a walk and yeah. Better now than later because it's supposed to get worse later. Alright, we'll be back. Okay, we're all done with physical therapy and they had me doing core exercises. And, uh, because <laughs> evidently my core is too squishy. <laughs> who, fig who knew? Go figure. But anyway, now my legs are totally sore, so I'm going to take it easy on the way home. Plus, it's still raining out, so I'm going to try to get home before it gets really bad and just dumps a bunch of water because it is supposed to do that. So we're going to try to get home before that happens and just sit with a cup of tea. I think that sounds like a big plan. Somebody remind me the next time I go to therapy to bring a hair scrunchie or something. Like, I was trying to do my exercises and my hair was so in the way. All right, that's it, I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It is 
Tuesday, January 9th. See, I knew again. Yay. Um, I'm in the backyard, obviously. It's been raining. Our backyard looks like crap. It's looked like crap for a while. I know you, you've seen it before, and I've mentioned that before. Um, we redid the front yard and then the economy crashed and we never did anything about the backyard and then we had to do the bathroom and that cost more money than we thought. So anyway, any of you who are homeowners, you understand priorities. <laughs> so anyway, I am out here this morning, garbage bag in hand. I never go outside the house to do work without grabbing my keys. Why? I have locked myself out of the house before. Granted, it's been 20 years, but yeah. Having to shove your three-year-old daughter through a window so she can unlock the door for you, it's kind of something you never forget. So anyway, I'm gonna pick up some dog poop out here first before I get started, and then we're gonna spread some grass seed, and yeah, I'll be right back. Y'all don't need to see me pick up dog poop. <laughs> but two bags of seed. We have kind of a big grassy area in the backyard. And when we first bought the house, we did seed. We couldn't afford sod. Um, and it's just become a habit. So every winter we put out somewhere between two and six bags of seed. Um, two bags each time over the winter when it's raining. Um, we had the California drought recently and we had to kind of let everything d die to try to save water and conserve water and yeah now we have to start all over again. So anyway, what's there is mostly weeds. There is a little bit of grass but we kind of didn't want to kill off the weeds that are there until we can get something else green to grow. I don't know. Anyway, I'm not a gardener. I hate gardening. But anyway, seeding is done. Now to take the garbage bags, the poop bag, <laughs> out to the trash can, and uh, then on to the next thing, which I think is the grocery store. I'll be back. We're gonna go hit the grocery store. Should be a good time to go and get it done early before the lunch rush. <sighs> Wish me luck. My least favorite chore, but I do it two to three times a week. <laughs>
per usual, my hair is wet. It's first thing in the morning. The neighbor's gardeners are out. He just waved at me. Our dog hates the neighbor's gardeners. Hates them. Our dog is old and cranky and at this point pretty quiet. He doesn't really bark too much unless two things are going on. The neighbor's gardeners are in the front of the neighbor's house and way too near his property or there's somebody in our driveway or on our property. Um, he's very, he is protective, but he used to like bark at every squirrel and fly and you know, when he, when he was younger, he barked at everything. Now he's 14. He really just only barks when there's an issue. He really hates the gardener though. Um, anyway. All right. So we are out going to my favorite place again and I'm being sarcastic. Yeah. The grocery store. My husband is a Freemason, for those who don't know, and um, for those that don't know what that is, that is a, um, a Masonic fraternity. Um, it's not just for men. Um, there is a women's group. But your husband has to be a Mason for you to join, or you have to be the daughter of a Mason. I know it's kind of sexist, right? Um, I am not a Mason, fun <laughs> fact. Um, other than that one little rule that I don't really like, um, it is actually a good group from both ends. It's all about making men and women, um, good men and women and making them better, better for themselves, better for their families, better for their community. Um, in fact, we have a blood drive coming up. Uh, anyway, enough with the speech. It also gives my husband something to do besides drive me crazy. So, I mean, I love him dearly, but, and he works a lot, but he, everybody needs a hobby. And for him, it's being a Freemason. So anyway, enough of that little speech. Um, he has an event coming up. Um, sorry, sorry. It's kind of wet outside still. Um, he has an event coming up and an installation of officers. Uh, for which I have relented to helping. <laughs> so I'm off to go get food for said installation of officers. I've got to order a cake and I've got to get some food. It's on Friday, so he just told me last night, can you order a cake? I'm like, well, yeah, but you should have told me like three days ago. Um, so we're going to go do it now. And um, yeah, so anyway. I hate the grocery store, I really do. All right, so we're gonna go do that and we'll be back. Did I say what day it was? It is Wednesday, January 10th. So anyway, yes, I still know what the date is. I'm trying hard to be better at that. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. Hey, all right, so we're in my art room and I'm going to be setting up to film the next few parts of the repainting the canvas series, which you already saw on a blah uh, blah uh, blah blah blah. What is this vlog? <laughs> um, last couple of weeks, and uh, I need to bring it in from the other room. I need to clean it. I need to set it up on my easel, and so I'm going to show that part of it um, um, here on the vlog. Um, it's my room is not that big, and although it's fairly decently organized. Um, It's not that big. It's 10 by 10. So my easel lives in the closet. So I have to get it out of the closet. <laughs> so yeah, I'm constantly purging and getting rid of stuff. And yes, this is my art room with less stuff in it. I know, right? It's still sometimes, depending on the camera angle, look like it looks like it has way too much stuff. I realize that. Um, <laughs> I'm still constantly finding pockets of things in here that I'm like, why do I have that? So it's got to go. For me, it's a continual process. I have.
ready to go. Woohoo! <laughs> This is how the canvas turned out today. I, I went ahead and just kept painting and couldn't stop. I do think she's done except for getting her clear coat. I love the suggestive way she turned out, the position of her arms and hands. I just love this canvas. I love, I love it so much. I wish I had actually a place to hang it up, but I don't. So I do think it's gonna go up for sale. The videos, showing at least a speed through of what I did and why I did it, um, voiceover where I can, um, <laughs> and where I have clear shots. I did do footage with both my HD um, video camera and my cell phone um, to try to get some good shots. It's always hard when I'm doing a canvas. I kind of need a cameraman. <laughs> so, but anyway, all right, that's it for today. I will be back. Good morning, everybody. It is Thursday. January 11th. I am already covered in dog hair. <laughs> it's not even nine o'clock in the morning. Ay, ay, ay. All right, so I've already done all my typing and posting for the day. I did a little more work on the canvas with the face on it. I'll try to put a picture here somewhere. And I think now she's done. I have loads of video footage I'm going to have to get fancy with and edit. That's going to be fun. And I couldn't remember what I said in the intros and endings, so I filmed a bunch of in extra intros and endings. <laughs> I don't know. It's going to be interesting. Uh, okay. So, I don't know what I'm going to do with the, with the footage. It's going to take me a while to edit. I've got a cough drop in my mouth because I'm feeling kind of off this morning and um, I'm headed to physical therapy I have physical therapy and then I have an appointment at the hairdresser to get my white roots covered up because I am really not a brunette anymore <laughs> um, my hair is mostly white and silver so anyway I'm gonna get it covered up and I think that's it. By the time I do those things, I'm probably not going to want to do anything else. And I'm probably just going to want to come home. So I'm not really planning on anything else. I did have to order last night some. I want to put like a matte or satin finish on the face canvas that I've been working on. And that started out as an acrylic pour. And... I am out of um, some of the product that I used to do that with. I have some Dorland's wax, but I don't have the other stuff. So I had to order it last night. I really was thinking I wasn't gonna probably be up to running around town trying to find out which store has what I want in it. And uh, yeah, so I just ordered it at Amazon. Sometimes that's cheaper, even if it costs me a couple bucks more. Um, so I won't be able to do that until Friday or Saturday or next week. I, you know, any of those is fine. I have to get ready to do 
some videos for my creative year for February. I want to get those filmed next week along with other February commitments. That's my keys, sorry. So I want to, that's going to be on my to-do list for next week. And I really wanted to get this face canvas finished before then, so it can be sort of drying and out of the way. So I may even set up the easel in the guest room once I clear coat it and just put it in the guest room and leave it sit and dry. We'll see what happens. All right, we're here at therapy, so I'll be back. Everybody, it's Friday, 12th. January 12th. 12th. I almost said December. I do actually know the date today again. It's a really weird way to start the year off when I actually know what day it is and don't get lost that much. It's not normal for me. Anyway, we're all kind of, as my husband would say, guzzied up. He's in his nice suit and tie. Yeah. That's right. I actually have a dress on, no stretchy pants. No stretchy pants. You have nylons. I on. have nylons and everything. And I know, right? So we're going out to a Masonic event and we're going to spend some time with friends and have dinner sure. and yeah, we've been just kind of, we haven't been doing anything particular. Well, he's been working from home today. I haven't been doing anything particular. I have no reason to he's not, not vlog this morning. I've been lazy. You've been lazy. Yeah. I've been lazy. Yeah. Cause what time is it? It's five thirty, five five o'clock, five o'clock, five o'clock. Like, yeah, the whole day has gone by. I haven't turned the camera on once. Five thirty. Yeah. No reason for that. Anyway. So that's what today is. I don't think we're doing much tomorrow either, so it's kind of a boring week, I think. I have a couple things I'm working on for YouTube. I'll probably share with you all tomorrow, and uh, I think that's for it for right now. If I get any good clips of the party tonight, I'll share. All right, I'll be back. <laughs> Coffee. New York is coffee. Boston is coffee. 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 What's wrong with that? I'm from Boston. My whole family's from Boston. Oh, yeah, my dad's side. Well, on my dad's oh, side. Queens. Queens. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, on my dad's side. Oh my god. See, here's the thing: is my brother. That's hardcore. My yeah. brother's a big Mets fan. Me. I can't, you know, if my brother's a Mets fan, what do I got to be? I got to be a freaking uh, Yankee fan. Yankees right. suck. Oh. Yankees right. suck. Yeah. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, thanks for the bait. Hey, appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah, you guys yeah. are looking forward. I can see that. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're an Yankee fan? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's funny. And I voted for I used for to him. have <laughs> yeah. Okay. You know, the weird thing I, is that. I voted for you for I, him. Hi guys, it is Saturday afternoon. It is January 13th. I'm looking at the computer. It's 425 or so in the afternoon. I haven't been doing a lot. Uh, kind of. So I started off early this morning with a online meeting with the new 2018 design team. That went really well. Um, got a lot of feedback and some, about some things we were brainstorming, not just about my products and my business, but also about things going on with them. And I think that we've got a fast, fantastic team this year, I've got to say. So anyway, I've spent the rest of the afternoon doing laundry and drawing on the iPad and working on some new designs to the point where I think my eyes, eyes are crossed a little bit. I need, I need to take a little break. Some new stencil inventory came in, which I have to package up and stick. This is the box where I keep the inventory in. Some new prototypes came in over there. Whoops, there. And I'm sorry if I'm making y'all dizzy. The canvas is drying back there. Can you see it? There you go. It's hanging on a wire. That's why she's crooked. <laughs> um, she's got her clear coat on, and so she's going to dry really well, and then I'm going to Put a second coat if I think it needs it, and then I'll do some waxing, and she'll be ready to sell and go on to her new home. Well, after I sign the back. I haven't done that yet. Um, I just didn't have the heart to sign the front, so 
I don't, I don't think I'm going to sign the front. I think I'm going to sign the back. Every now and then I just feel like my signature on the front, I'm not ashamed of my signature, but it just is not cohesive with the painting and I don't want it on the front. I want it on the back. Um, so, or sometimes I do it around the edge, so, but usually the back. Um, I think that's it for right now. I don't think there's anything else going on for the moment. Uh, we are just having a quiet evening at home and we're going to be eating leftovers and just ch chilling out, I think. Uh, it is a three-day weekend. Monday is Martin Luther King Day and so my husband's going to be home. We may decide to go out for a drive or something. I don't know, but of course if we do, I'll bring you along. It's been an interesting week full of um, inspiration and possibility and... Um, lots of routine and catching up, and that's okay. Um, I have enjoyed this week, though. I think that, yeah, I look forward to 2018. I think it's going to be a really interesting year. So anyway, I hope that you all have had a great week, that you've had some fun uh, following me around this week, even on days when I didn't have much to do. I'm going to go this way because it's less, the lighting is less weird. Um, and uh, I hope above all that you're... Um, doing what you love and with those that you love and um, enjoy yourself. Uh, do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Of course, check out the video description for any relevant link, including my Linktree link, which has, if you click on it, all my social media and internet links everywhere you can find me. Um, that's it for right now. Have a great day. I'll talk to you next week and that's it. See you later. Bye-bye.